Inter-regional trade currently stands at 12 percent. It is dismal and worrying considering the fact that the African continent is making strides towards achieving the continental free trade area. This African Business and Investment Summit ongoing in Arusha, Tanzania, is laying strategies geared at increasing inter-regional trade to at least 40 percent. We want to take politics out of this. We want to have a fair and equitable place for people to do business. We want to make it fair, we want to make it transparent and take away fear, take away issues that people call political that they never want to talk about and put them on the table. We have to have hard, frank discussions about what are these challenges. If there are countries that are scared of other countries, let's deal with it. Let's talk about how to make it fair. According to the Tanzanian Foreign Affairs and East African Cooperation Minister, Professor Paramagamba Kabudi, there is need for commitment from partner states and a private sector that is united. The private sector is selfish. You should have said people-centered and the private. Yes, because you are driving towards the welfare of the East Africans. So as it was in the past, it is also now. Our community must be private sector driven, but a, community, a, a people centered community. If we lose that focus of people centered community, this community won't be sustainable. His sentiments are re-echoed by Chirunda Chivejinja, the third Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of East African Affairs. If we don't have a social content, then we are likely to hit the mistakes which were committed earlier. But now, let's look at each other, let's have problems and know that integration is not a choice or a race, or an event, but a process. As the EAC public and private sector players meet in Arusha to discuss business and mark 20 years of EAC existence, some glaring challenges are evident. These are some of the sad stories that the East African business community has to endure. Where I'm standing right now is Mama Bella Wine's stall. She was expecting to have her products here by Monday or Sunday. Unfortunately, her products are yet to arrive. I'm so shocked that I'm now in an empty store which I've paid for. I'm staying in a very expensive hotel. I'm not among those who, who, are, who are sponsored. When the truck left Uganda, I've been crying to them. Until they intervene, it leaves one border to another. Now since morning, it has been at this Tanzanian border. Now you can imagine. She's coming here to Arusha to show that the integration of this uh, community in East Africa is private sector led. That there are no non-tariff barriers or that there is work being done to remove those non-tariff barriers. Clearly, as you can see from her empty store, that work is simply not enough. The Ugandan entrepreneur is disappointed and pessimistic about the future of the integration. Who doesn't know better in East Africa to hold the vehicle there? I'm very disappointed. Now I don't need to continue with this summit. Now I'm just packing my things and going back. The participants concur that all barriers that impede regional trade should be addressed urgently to achieve the ESC integration agenda. Denis Igoa for UBC News in Arusha, Tanzania.